Saturdays, too, just so we could do everything we want to do. Who said that? <laughs> Who just said that he should be hit over the head with a lug wrench? <laughs> you want to start doing Saturdays? That's a very good idea. Yeah. Oh, is it? I think we have one more shot at fame in this business. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got one more, one more in us. One more. Although they're making it harder and harder, I guess that's a good segue to get into the we for a we thing. Yeah. This fucking uh, radio stunt gone horribly wrong. We've been following for years. It's when did they do this? Almost three years ago, two thousand seven. Um, what was her name? Jennifer Strange? Yeah. Yeah, poor Jennifer Strange. She came in to win a dumb way for her family. Yeah. And they did the Wee for Wee, which basically was drink uh, water, a lot of water without uh, going to the bathroom. If you yep. if you tapped out because you had to go to the bathroom, then you're out of the contest. Mm -hmm. uh, and Jennifer Strange, during the contest, was saying that she wasn't feeling good. She had headaches, blah, blah, blah. She went home and died. Holy shit. People that's don't the, understand. That's every radio guy's worst nightmare. They don't understand. Water can be fatal. Right. If you drink too much of it and don't get rid of it. Well, the jury came back with a decision yesterday. This is a big jury awards $16 million in damages to Jennifer Strange's uh, family. And a wee, though? Did they get the I wee? I think they threw it away, sure. Oh, okay. Sure, I think. Just uh, want, you know, because the station could probably get in trouble if they uh, renege on the the wee. Yeah. Yeah. I think they uh, threw in the wee. All right. And a few games for, uh, for, for the family. A few games. We fit. <laughs> 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 But, uh, yeah, the, the jury came back. Uh, this doesn't kill the radio company, by the way. It, oh, no? It doesn't make the radio company happy. $16 million, I, I mean, they could have came back with yeah. $100 million. Yeah. They really could have uh, went all out. What company is that? Entercom. We used to work for Entercom. Entercom. Good old Entercom. Oh, uh, they're going to love writing that check. No kidding. And, and radio companies can't afford to write these checks these days. No. But uh, sixteen million five hundred. We're just throwing away the five hundred seventy-seven thousand. I guess. Yeah, that's it's awesome. actually sixteen and a half million, basically. Sixteen five. Sixteen. Well, you round it up usually, so sixteen point six million. We'll yeah. call it sixteen point six million to the family. Yikes. Uh, and this pretty much ends regular radio. By the way. Oh, that yeah, that was a biggie. Even though when the we for we incident went down it really messed up uh, radio shows big time everyone got paranoid to the point that it affected us yeah no more stunt type sh uh, shows where you have guests come in and do things like um the uh eggnog uh challenge thing that we do every christmas we did what three years in a row something like that <laughs> yeah very successful one of our greatest bits we've ever done some of the uh most memorable moments um uh the adorable uh pat from munaki mm -hmm. uh puking uh was just uh, for years one for the that. ages one, one for the ages one for the ages pat i exactly. know you're listening God bless you, Pat. And Munaki. And your nine toes, you motherfucker. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Pat was tweeting. Oh, I am horrified watching this. Yeah, Pat was tweeting like crazy yesterday saying, I guess this uh, pretty much ends my eggnog uh, drinking challenge thing. Dude, if you watch these videos, like Sam just popped up a couple of the videos, we are crying. We are literally, cr literally, I'm crying over here. Crying mm -hmm. at how fucking funny that was. Unbelievable. How do you get to them for the people that have never seen them there, Sam? If you just YouTube Opie and Anthony Baby Bird, there's a bunch of different versions. There's so many angles on it. Oh, yeah. Everyone had their cameras in that day. Oh, fucking came. Joe Rogan was in studio. Yeah, he's the one that kind of brought it up. Right. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, and then Pat brought it up. <laughs> So this is the this is it this is this is it for regular radio. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's already been happening, but uh, that's the final nail in the Xbox. Yeah, it's going to be very very bland Wii. from from <laughs> now from now on. Yeah, no radio show is going to be able to do anything like crazy. No, you're not even crazy. Not you even close to crazy. Anything. Right. You can't do anything now. Mm -mm. You can't have con. You can't do radio contests anymore. Uh, can we do a contest where um, 10 people will put their hands on a car and the last one that takes their hand off wins? Uh, well, what if the weather gets hot and people scald their fingertips? Mm -hmm. What about the weather if it uh, rains and uh, they get pneumonia? Mm -hmm. What if someone slams their hand in the door? What if what mm -hmm. lawyers, lawyers, mm -hmm. the parade of lawyers comes mm -hmm. out and tells you why you can't do anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, so. Disgusting. Uh, but that case is officially over. Yeah, see, Kevin from Connecticut reminded me. Remember, we actually shot a bottle rocket out of a woman's vagina. I, you think that uh, the lawyers did, uh, if we go, hey, uh, excuse me, guys. Um, we want to take a bottle rocket and uh, stick it in a woman's, yes, a woman's vagina. Yeah. And then we want to light the fuse and have it go <laughs> down the hallway. Uh can, can we do that? What would management say? Say, say, oh, say. Oh. I guess that's a no. No, of course not. Even though we built a, a, a wonderful heat shield and everything oh, for yeah. the woman. It was very technical. Oh, by the way, uh, you know, don't be uh, confused. The, the bottle rocket still had to be in her vag. Yeah. But we built it in such a way where we had a nice heat shield to protect the area. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everything. <laughs> we, we thought of everything. Of course, sex for Sam. We realize what happened there. Fifty-five and gallon drum. Fifty-five challenge. gallon drum challenge. Never to be seen again. Never do that. Uh, salt on challenge. the media. You'll never see that. Never, never. never. Uh, so many things. Uh, woman smoking out of her vag, which oh, was hysterically God. funny. Never ever see that again. Uh, cell phone up the vag. Oh, that's not happening ever again. Uh, we sure did a lot with vaginas. We love vaginas. We adore the vagina. Can't get enough of the vagina. <laughs> we. <laughs> the Love shut, the snacks. Shut up, Sam. He puts a bra bombing. <laughs> Love the pink taco. I'm not going to acknowledge you wrote that, you fucker. <laughs> hey, son of a bitch. Yeah. Oh, boy. Thank God we uh, we got our wit and our cleverness where this show would be done. Done. <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, clever still. They can't take that away from us. Yeah. yeah. Man. As, as we come in with that fucking lobotomy thing like the friend on Planet of the Apes. Right. You cut out their brains. We just sit here. <laughs> hey, we're two guys. Mm. <laughs> I just spit up coffee. Good old Jeff and Jay, uh, whatever the fuck John their names are. Jeff, John and it? Jeff. What are their names? Yeah. Yeah. John All right, John and Jeff. They were fantastic. So, yeah. A lot of people want to know our opinion. Wherever I walked yesterday, and people, were, I mean, I couldn't even go to the corner. Really? Couldn't even go to my <laughs> Starbucks. What? Every person was stopping me. They wanted my opinion on this freaking wow. we for we uh, judgment. Damn. Wherever I went. I said, look, I'll, 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 I'll say what I have to say on my radio show. Yeah. <laughs> We got a radio show to express ourselves. So you're going to have to just wait, mister. And then they just walk away depressed, <laughs> thinking they were going to get a little special knowledge from, from me or you. No that ain't happening. No inside info. You listen to the show. Right. I don't I don't know what to say about this. I mean, I think everyone knows what this means. It means there's, you're I mean, not going to hear any of that. As soon as the lady died, they shut down every single radio show. And, uh, you know, this will just... Uh, Guarantee that it's not coming back anytime soon. The lawyers got more power over programming, well, and uh, that was that. What frustrates me is uh, that it affects satellite radio too. I know because and this was supposed to be the place where anything goes. Yeah, you, and it's no secret that's just not true. You come here, and it was supposed to true. be. Uh, yeah, everything was uh, fair game, right? As they call it, right? Fair game. Oh, the bees? Yeah, all right. Now, <laughs> all right, now everyone's calling in. All right. Can we do oh a... Oh, my God, remember that? Sam, can you do a weekend of bits and just call it things Open <laughs> Anthony can't do anymore? That's a great and just, idea. And just play the highlights from all these crazy bits we used to do? Yeah. Walter and PA, what's up? Hey, Opie, Anthony. Hey. Um, you guys used to do a bit where you uh, guys would come in and put their nutsack in a jar full of bees. And this isn't even all that long ago, sir. That's I right. Remember that. That's well, right. Right, right. And there's another one. Can you? Uh, you used to do a bit where guys would put their nutsack. <laughs> oh my God! Why does that sound gay? Uh, in the mouse trap. Yes. Oh, remember yeah. that we one? We can't do that anymore. Holy yes. shit! Oh, uh, and that was on satellite radio. Yes, it was. Yeah, the oh. bee thing was. Oh God! I love the bee bit. <laughs> I love the bee. Bit. I was petrified of the bees and dressed in a beekeeper's suit. Yeah, like I wouldn't. I wouldn't even come into the studio without a full beekeeper's suit on. <laughs> we're looking. What a fag! <laughs> we're looking. Where do they find this one? Is this YouTube too? Yeah, if you YouTube. YouTube uh, allowed this video. I don't think they know about it. They don't know what <laughs> it is. They don't know what it is. I'll be an Anthony Super Bowl. Right. You can't really see anything except. <laughs> Look, we're in beekeeper. Not all of us. I went sans bee outfit. 
But who is that? I think that's Jimmy Norton. Oh, what's he doing without gloves on? It I was think... it was you, Jimmy, and Tracy Morgan. Yeah, and the Tracy B costume. Morgan showed up in a B costume, and then he got scared and ran out, and hasn't been seen from yeah. since, and hasn't come back. No. Uh, anyway. Yeah, you can't do the bee thing anymore. <laughs> you know, we're just watching the video. He's uh, one of the contestants humping the uh Well, they're doing the everything canister. they could to get the bees to stay in their ball bags. Yeah. The problem, if I remember correctly, we had to get our bees in the middle of winter. We had to wake them up or something. Yeah, yeah. They were dormant. Bees are very yeah. dormant, yeah, yeah. In, the, in the winter. So some guy did bring bees but said, ah, oh, these are really tired, lazy, sleeping bees. So we had to smack them around and get them a little pissed off. Oh, a big wasp. But in hornet. the end, guess what? They stung. They certainly did. They stung ball bags. Left big <laughs> fucking welts on the guy's genitals. What would management say? Say, say, say. No. Management would say <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, big foundry cog, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I hate that logo. What the <laughs> fuck did you have to do with all our creativity? <laughs> oh, what the knows. fuck? And you don't own us, you fuck. <laughs> Anything <laughs> flaming. Uh, let's right. say hi to Scott in Wisconsin. Scott. Scott. Hey, boys. Hey, Scott. Hey, uh, I seen on the news last night there's a station in Madison, Wisconsin, Z104. Yeah. And uh, they had a contest of women in the new pictures for concert tickets. And people were writing the newspapers and about how outraged they were. And the management's actually standing by the DJ saying it was just a, we did this one. Just a, a bit. And they're standing by. Yeah. Um, yeah, your phone kind of sucks. But basically they had a competition where women <laughs> send in naked pics of themselves cleaning their house. Yeah, for concert tickets. Oh. What's wrong with that? They we, were part of Jocktober. Yes, we did this station for Jocktober. That's Connie and Fish's home station. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. But it wasn't Connie and Fish that did the bit. I wouldn't think so. I, I doubt it. Not. They're too busy, you know, making believe they're married for the, That's their crazy. audience. That's a little oh. too crazy. Maybe right. it was Tyler Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, fake name ass. <laughs> Good old Tyler <laughs> Cruz. Stop it. Thank you, sir. No problem. Appreciate it. Uh, let's go to Matt in Connecticut. Matt, what's going on? Hey, okay, you mentioned it earlier, but I don't think you gave it as much justice as you should have. That 55-gallon drum challenge, mm -hmm. you sealed up girls in a drum, and then you dropped Madagascar hissing cockroaches through the hole, Yeah, and it just sounded like a snuff film. Yeah. Oh, oh I know. I, that's some of my favorite audio ever. I yeah, mean, we, it was horrific. We the women actually, were screaming. We actually got horror from our listeners that yeah. day. The women that were in the drums. Horror. And the echoing horror sound sounds. of them inside, that muffled sound yeah. of them inside. God, yeah. what a hot contest this was. <laughs> no kidding, because they had to be in their bra and panties. God damn. And they couldn't see in the 55-gallon drum challenge. We had holes all over the damn thing, and we dropped different stuff in. The best. Don't, forget the, don't forget the big eels. Oh, God. God damn. <laughs> Oh, I remember her. Why wasn't I fucking these girls? Uh, you were married. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if you were married. God. You were in love. That's what, what it was. You were in love. Fuck me. Back then, you were in love. Stupid love. Stupid love got in the way. You didn't see how hot they were back then. You love had, sucks a fat one. You had the, You had the love fucking sunglasses on, man. Like the fucking horses in Central Park, the blinders? Yeah. I can't see any delicious food or anything that'll distract me or make me go crazy. Do you remember the eels, though, that would just yes. slam up against the 55-gallon drums, making uh, yeah. horrific noises, which made the girls scream because they didn't know what the hell was in there? The screams, all I could describe it as was uh, a serial killer's basement. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what it sounded like. And how Worse many... than fucking uh, Silence of the Lambs, the well. Worse right. than that shit. And how many of those did we get done? Yeah, we did a couple of those. Two or three of those, right? At least two. Uh, now, uh, what oh. would management say? say. Yeah. Well, uh, very dangerous with uh, entrails from uh, cows <laughs> and stuff. We don't know mad, mad cow disease. They could get that. Uh, if they're in the drum uh, and have uh, claustrophobia, uh, they could sue us. Um, no, we can't do it. Why don't you do it? Uh, well, we'll, give, we'll let you do it this way. Without the drum... And without any disgusting stuff, and without girls. <laughs> but anything else you want to do. Yeah, you could, like, dump powdered sugar on them. Look at that. 
I didn't realize the girls were kind of hot. Kind of. They're real hot. And they, and they oh, got, my God. Look how hot they are with goop all over them. And they're locked in. They were locked the fuck in those drums. They couldn't get out. Yeah. It was it was horrifying. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. She's yelling no. Oh, rewind that a little bit. I want to hear her scream no. Sarah? You all right? Sarah? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord, Lord. She's got her hands full of holes in the top of the house, and she's pulling herself out of the water. But if she puts her hands up there, hit him with a hammer. No! <laughs> hit him with a hammer. Look at the fear in her eyes. Oh, um, and then the They're dumb wild. logo because you know he came up with the whole fucking yes, idea. the logo says it all. <laughs> Jesus Christ, uh. yes, 55 gallon fouled. <laughs> all right, we get it. Jesus. Yes, brought to you by, by the way, sex for foundry. It was brought to you by foundry, not brought to you by Opie and Anthony. You yeah. know, when we came up with the idea, yeah, brought to you by Whip Em Out Foundry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You just oh fucking hosted God. videos. You didn't fucking yeah. you didn't come up with this stuff. Jared in Boston, what's going on? Jared. Hey guys. The fifty five gallon drum continues to be my second favorite bit ever, ever. Second? What's the first? Oh, the NRA theme restaurant. Ah, uh, that was a fun one. That wasn't really a, that's a, a the, stunt or anything. That was just us kind of talking. Oh, what yeah, is yeah. that that is being put in Those the drum? Those are the big fucking eels. No, that looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> this chick is so scared. I love it. She's horrified. This <laughs> is just so, so brutal. I would love to do that again. I bet we could. Yeah? Why don't we ask uh, management? Why don't we do? Why don't we go old school and ask for forgiveness? Just do it. Yeah, we could just do it, and then we'll ask for forgiveness. That I, was one of our greatest things ever. I think that's what we used to do. Of we, course. we never told anyone we were doing this shit. We'd be like, "Hey, someone, get us some fifty-five gallon drums. We'll mm. we'll drill some some holes in them and fill it up with shit. Get some girls down here." You know, Ken Stevens was off on a plane to one of the 18 <laughs> stations he was managing to try to save some fucking money. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's go to Rob. Rob, what's up? Hey, what's up, Owen? Hey, buddy. Uh, two of the bits that you guys missed, uh, the uh, Mentos Diet Coke out of the Pussy Challenge. <laughs> hey, <Right>. Yes. <laughs> that and, was a uh, fun one. <laughs> I forgot what the other one was. Oh, the gay Marco. I see what oh, you want to talk about. Gay, gay, gay oh, Marco. yeah. Uh, your, your, your list of bits reads like a Mythbusters episode guide. I mean, it's just... Yeah, that, uh, that, well, that was fucking great. Gay Marco eating a uh, uh, pussy. girl's pussy. For He's, he was flaming homosexual gay. Never even, like, saw a woman's vagina. Well, when he and saw it for the first him... time, he actually said, what is that? What is that? And we made him... Lick her fucking clit and stick his tongue up her pussy, and and he had to eat her pussy for the entire length of a uh, 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 no kids on the block song. Was it or was it a no kids new kids? Right? Was it a new kids song Whatever. or a new in sync song? In sync. In sync. You're right. In sync. An in sync song, and he's sitting there. Cr he started crying, and he was looking, <laughs> going, "What is that? What is that?" What? <laughs> He was gagging. And by the way, and the that, chick was hot. Yeah, she was really hot. We're like, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> this should make you straight. What, who are you kidding? God, what the fuck happened to radio? And you know what? We That was on regular radio. We can't even do that. <laughs> that <Dude. way. laughs> regular fucking radio. And everyone knew what he was doing. There wasn't anyone in the audience. We were able to talk about it in a way that everyone knew what the fuck he was doing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Eat her peach. That's what it was. He's eating her peach. Eat. And everyone knew. You couldn't even say that mm -hmm. on regular radio now. No, no, we can't say that unless there's actual peaches and it's not uh, any vagina. <laughs> J John in Miami. John? Good evening. Hello, John. Can this be the Thanksgiving fellas where we finally get Fields for Meals happening? Fields for Meals? We uh, want to raise a lot of money for the fucking homeless. We try yeah. every year, but uh, we fail miserably because of this. What would management do?
Say. The weird part about Feels for Meals, every year the girls come and say, yes, we'll do this for you. Yeah. And basically the bit is you get some really uh, hot girls. You put them in huge, like, refrigerator boxes. We we did get this done one year for a little while, by the way. And we actually had a girl in there Mm -hmm. uh, with her, her ample tits. And the guy reach in and feel her tits. And it was her own brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, by the way, we did that bit first. <laughs> yeah. So shut up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I love that concept. There were holes in the refrigerator box. You, yeah. You paid your donation, whether it was money for the homeless or, or like, a, like a can of food. And then you reached in and you try to tune in Tokyo. Yeah. You know. Now our show, completely gay. No. All we can do is homosexual stuff. <laughs> we could have Bobo whip his dick out and make it get hard and soft like a fucking teeter totter. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me go to Eric in Buffalo. Jesus, Eric, what happened? A, p- a penis weightlifting we're allowed to do. Yes. Oh, great. Yeah. How about labia weightlifting? No. no! What would management say? Management doesn't like girls. They hate <laughs> girls. Uh, Eric, what do you got? I was going to say, I wonder if those lawyers are going to let you guys have any more killer beach parties like they had one you had up here in Buffalo. That would never happen again. And the regular, I'm um, the regular, the uh, the uh, hardcore listeners know that was the bit that was supposed to get us fired. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what's so funny about yep. what happened to us. That was getting some legs. That uh, that event was <laughs> going to get us fired. We were on a runaway train, and we were supposed to be fired for the beach thing. And then, like a mere ten days later, we did the sex for Zan. I got fired for that. <laughs> we were out of our fucking minds. So yeah, they, that, th- that we pled awesome. down to, to one count of being assholes. Yeah, the FCC <laughs> was looking into it, uh, even though it wasn't ever on the air. Right, CBS lawyers were looking into it. The media was all over it. And we were like, we were sweating it out, and also we we moved on to our next bit, which happened to be sex for Sam. And it then was it, never broadcast, and, the, and then it made the whole Buffalo situation easy because uh, they said, ah, they're gonna get fired anyway. So that was, don't worry about it. That was like the hey. original Woodstock, if you were there. <laughs> you know, it, oh, it yeah. never, you'll never get that feel again. It'll never happen just and, like that again. And a lot of people swear they were there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and they weren't. I they was just there. weren't. And fucking. Twelve hookers were eating each other's box in a circle <laughs> on a public beach with families on blankets, <laughs> horrified. Hey, man. <laughs> we had a daisy chain of fucking Shut lesbians. Up. It was fantastic. What was the vegetable that one girl used? Oh, zucchini. Zucchini. Up her ass. <laughs> yes, Dude, she it. stuck a zucchini up her ass on a public beach where families were frolicking. <laughs> This. Well, a woman. Okay, that's different. I think we need oh, to bring this that? to our radio. It's just a discussion of it. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. All, all this shit is all over the internet if, you, if you're kind of new to the yeah. show. Homeless shopping spree we could do probably. Yeah, but now, uh, the, now what, Tippy Tom's dead. Without the Tippy Tom or the Zigster, it's really hard to do that. Yeah, big stars. Uh, this is one of my favorite newer bits that uh, we got shut down doing. James in Tennessee. What's up, James? James. Good evening. Mm-hmm. Hello. Let me uh, let me tell you about Box O'Cox. Oh, the, uh, God, I love that fucking bit. bit. Ever. How much that fun? In, <laughs> that in uh, send uh, cock emails to uh, Eric Logan. Well, that was always fun, sending big dick pictures to Elo. Well, because we got pissed that he got in our way. <laughs> I wish. Oh, my God. Boy, did we fucking... Uh, did we... Did, it, it was like... We didn't realize how good we had it with with the Elo, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we made okay. everybody send him cock pictures. The- box of cocks was great. We had a uh, cardboard box in the middle of the sidewalk, uh, and it said "free kittens or puppies" yeah. on the side, yeah. and it was just in the middle of M- Manhattan <laughs> sidewalk. <laughs> and people would open the box up, and in there were just gay male porno pictures. The worst fucking and gay porno giant that you can imagine. Pictures. And there was also at the bottom of the box a giant dildo. <laughs> a giant <laughs> right dildo. Up. It was the box of cocks. So people would be upset like, oh my god, there's a box full of puppies in the middle of the sidewalk here in Manhattan. And they would open the box up and be horrified looking at big jizzing cocks. 
<laughs> ah, reminiscing, Opie. You know, one of my reminiscing. reminiscing. Can yes. you find out? Uh, find reminiscing. Who did that originally? Um, I think that was uh. We'll go dancing in the dark, walking through the park and reminiscing. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. No, not Mary J. Fly. No, let's go to Chris and the Poconos. Chris? Hey, guys. Little uh, River Band, nice. Mm. I, was it? 1978. Oh. Uh, what, Chris? Uh, in Philly, you had, you had fans giving them and bumping. Yeah, we did. Oh, my God. I remember that. Even though the guy's phone broke up. We had a guy, a Philly fan, when we were at YSP, come in with a freeze-dried monkey. It was a dead monkey in a bag because we wanted, like, the weirdest thing to bring down for some tickets or some shit. And another guy said... I will let that monkey give me a blowjob <laughs> if I could have the tickets and stuck his dick in a dead freeze-dried monkey mouth and pumped his dick uh, and got a blowjob from said dead monkey. Uh, yeah, that you was... think we could do that now? Well, I... <laughs> what oh, would yeah. management say? <laughs> I, uh, I don't think so. The same, That same broadcast... There was a woman with child. <laughs> I remember uh, that, too. She was such a big fan of our show. She uh, came to the broadcast outside YSP. There was probably a 1,000 people out, outside YSP, and, and that's yeah. not an exaggeration, easily. And uh, they were watching the broadcast, and she was with child, and she decided to have a strange Opie and Anthony listener watch her child yeah. so she could go off and blow a complete stranger. And blow another complete stranger. Right. As a stranger watched her baby yeah. in, a, in a little stroller. <laughs> that was the era of Tim Sabian, who now has to make believe he hates us, which is just always terrific. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun and comfortable. <laughs> I love that we're the only ones that are honest around here. Tim Sabian oh. walks around. He has to hate us now because, you know, he works for Howard. So he's got to make believe yeah. he doesn't like us. It's so stupid. This whole thing is stupid. Damn. What about the um, the vomiting at BCN? The clam chowder contest? That turned into not only how much clam chowder you can eat until you vomit, but then somebody took the vomit from somebody else and ate the vomit. Well, <laughs> that was so difficult. You're, you're to watch. misrepresenting the bit slightly. Am I? Yes. It was a, it was our chowder contest, kind of like the eggnog challenge. Yeah. Who could eat the most chowder without puking for Super Bowl tickets? And in and and in typical fashion, we had a pair of tickets to the Super Bowl. I think it was in uh, uh, where the fuck was it? New Orleans. Yeah, might somewhere been. really far oh, away. Right. We just gave the people tickets. They had to figure out how to get there. there was no By the way, they had to figure out nothing. they had to figure out how to get to the Super Bowl two days before the Super Bowl. Very easy if you call a travel agent. Yeah, and it's a, a piece of cake in <laughs> a hotel too. Right. <laughs> Here's the tickets. Everything else, you're on your own. But they still came out of the woodwork to try to win them. And we gave away the tickets, and then BCN, God bless them, and uh, they're resting in peace right now, yeah. motherfuckers. A lot of anger. Yeah. Because I know what this business could be. That's why I get so mad, by the way. Oh. People think I'm just crazy. I am crazy. But I also know what this business could be and what it was. And that's why I'm so fucking frustrated. Every day was a new adventure in what we could do uh, uh, and, and just freak out people, our audience, ourselves. Oh, yeah. What about Wait, those? wait, wait. Before you move on, uh, the oh, second yeah. half of that story. So BCN comes up with another pair of tickets. They're like, good news. We got another pair of tickets. We're like, well, fuck, we did the the clam chowder eating contest. We don't know what to fucking do. Yeah. All of a sudden, me and Ann look, and there's a, there, was a, there was a bucket where all the contestants <laughs> were puking in. Yeah. And all of a sudden, a light bulb goes on in our heads. <laughs> ah! And they allowed us to do it. Yeah. Management wouldn't allow this shit now. That's like a biohazard now. And we're like, okay, here's the bit. Who, who wants in? So uh, most of the contestants raised their hand that lost. We're like, okay, yeah. this is what you have to do. We got a nice big spoon. You have to you have to scoop out some some puke out of the barrel. A big heaping helping. On the spoon. We'll decide if it's enough on the spoon. <laughs> and all you have to do, this was one of the most simplest bits we ever came up with. All you have to do is swallow the spoonful of clam chowder puke. Keep it down. I think for a minute, 90 seconds, something like that. You got the Super Bowl tickets. Yeah. Everyone's like, that's fucking easy. All these hardcore Boston dudes and stuff. Yep. One after another, they did it and and started puking into the same fucking barrel. Yes. 
They couldn't hold it down. <laughs> no, they couldn't. And it stunk so bad, like puke. <laughs> Double puke is really bad. Oh, puke yeah. that's being puked up? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's horrific. Oh, yeah. How about this one? I don't remember this. Underage drunk girl fucking. Ah, what? wow. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I have no what? idea what that is. It's from Hamptons Howie. I, I don't remember that one. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy actually... Jimmy's gonna be, be uh, uh, Jimmy's gonna be in here soon. Yeah, he took a red eye. He was on Leno last night. He killed, by the way. He was great. Um, I think we were back on the air after sitting out two and a half years. Yeah, and two weeks into it, we almost got fired again. All right. I walked home with Jimmy that day. He actually yelled at me. Yeah. He's like, "What the fuck are we doing? Yeah, we can't do that. We just got our jobs back. <laughs> right? I'm like, what? The what? Fuck are you doing? What are we doing? I'm like, well, we're just, we're just fucking, you know. We got to stop this. <laughs> he was so upset. Oh, was he pissed? <laughs> and I was just worried. Like, I had, that, I got that feeling. Like, oh my god, look, we're it done. It wasn't our fault that a girl that we thought was of age might not have been, huh? and she was completely naked on the sidewalk what? outside our building on 57th Street as real business people were trying to <laughs> come into the building oh to my go god. to work. <laughs> Yeah, Statute of limitations right. is up on that. It's no, okay. I don't know. I don't know. So I don't even <laughs> we're, know. We're fine. I don't know what's real and what's not. In there. I don't either. But a band brought them up was what it was. That's right. And they were intoxicated when they came in the building. That, that I is knew a fact. that. They were intoxicated when they came in the building. And, uh, you know, she, uh, she couldn't walk very well. Uh, and um, we didn't fucking put her out in the... In the cold, completely naked. No. Assault on the media, ping pong balls out of the vagina. I, Whiffle we can't get bat to... challenge. Well. It's another one that was huge. Well, we would probably still be doing that one, but one girl decided to get a little. Oh, yeah. A little. Uh, well, she said she was experienced at, at, at putting things in other girls' vaginas. Yeah. But it's very evident that she was not. And <laughs> she hit and the she... girl's fucking stomach. <laughs> she. She pushed a little too hard, and that was a major problem. Yeah, ending that one. I think we gave technically we gave an abortion in the studio <laughs> that day. <laughs> the voyeur bus. That was fun until we got twelve yes, people arrested. Yes. Yeah, I think it's time to write the book now that I think about it. Jim in Canada, <laughs> Jim. Hey guys, how's it going? All right, Jim. Yes. Uh, the thing I miss the most is. Uh, Opie being able to open up the window and spray mustard on random Asian people. Ah, that was another good one. Yes. Oh. That poor guy. It was so great. What's that? That was the greatest moment of my I life. I loved that. Why was that so good for you? Because I was standing out on the sidewalk. <laughs> oh, you were close? Yeah. Well, I was trying to get the mustard on that fucking asshole with the, uh, I, what was he? The he, toothpick guy, the right? The toothpick guy that brought in the Letterman thing. Oh, matter right. Fact. I remember, guy, yeah. Because I was sitting there getting the toothpick guy to come out. And you know, I was getting him right by we the window. We're trying to set up the toothpick guy because, you know, I was just extremely angry that I wasn't able to smash his work of art. Yeah. That made me mad that he wasn't allowing me to do something destructive. Yeah. So then we set him up where uh, we wanted him on the sidewalk. Yeah. And, and Sam was trying to get him to just kind of hang out outside the window. And he did. But next to him was an Asian gentleman getting ready for work since it was 8 o'clock in the morning yeah. on his cell phone, just talking in his suit, in his business attire, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, mustard <laughs> rained, rained from the down sky. on him. Mustard. We saw that guy in the elevator many times <laughs> after that. He had yeah. no idea. He was trying to figure out, why am I covered in mustard? Because he looked uh. up, and at that point, you know, we were back inside. God, remember Club Stinky, where we would take people to smoke marijuana? Yeah. <laughs> Club Stinky. They would go to the stairwell and just smoke pot. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we're, we're, I guess we're reminiscing because the, the we for a we thing, you know. Yeah, kind of ruined all that. No, I mean, and, that, and they were doing, doing safe stuff. Yeah. Oh, nothing. my God, that stuff was easy to do. Nothing. Now these companies aren't going to let you get anywhere near the, uh, the line. So you're going to have to be clever and witty <clears throat> and thought-provoking. Yeah, what could we do? Like, Knife fetish girl. She yeah, was terrific. Was a good one. She loved uh, knives being scraped on her. Yeah. Leaving, I mean, we had to cut her a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, little shallow cuts. She was a big fan of the shallow yeah. cuts. And it, and it got her uh, to come to uh, an orgasm. Stockbroker Dave's vasectomy parts. Well, what was wrong with that? We had a woman put it on a Ritz cracker and eat it <laughs> for tickets. 
for Aerosmith. She, she ate the <laughs> shit that they took out when they gave him a vasectomy on a cracker. <laughs> yeah, we were the show that brought you cannibalism. You think you guys, that would go over now? Nope. You guys throw darts at a... A guy's back? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. We th- <laughs> that was Anthony. <laughs> from from limo, limo, limo Anthony. Who, from Vital Limousine. From what I think, he didn't ever own a limo company or anything. I don't know what he was about. And we were, threw darts in his back. <laughs> Each dart that hit, he was able to plug his company. <laughs> and he threw we darts. covered the spine, though, because someone last minute said yeah. we could kill him if we hit his spine. Yeah, we might paralyze him. So we just ran a strip <laughs> of newspaper down his spine and hit him in the shoulder blades. <laughs> and the darts stuck. <laughs> All Fuck. right. I miss that shit. Blind boxing. Look those yeah. clips up. That'll. That's not happening again. The teen lesbian pajama parties. That oh, ain't happening that again. That's a good one. I bet the company would still let you staple newspapers to your legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... That was something we didn't even... That was like that, spur of the moment. I remember listening that day. Oh, you my God. Just bored and decided you're going to staple newspapers to your leg with a staple gun. Well, yeah, we took we took an entire newspaper, you know, a regular city newspaper. It was more than that, Sam. And put it on our this leg. This was before Jackass, by the way. I yes. Know. We were doing some of those Jackass bits before Jackass. Hoo-hoo. You put, you put, the, you put the newspaper <laughs> on your leg, yeah. and you take a staple gun, and then go right into the newspaper. And then you take a page off, hand it to the next guy. And he does that, and before you know it, the paper's getting a little thin, and the staple's starting to poke through the newspaper into your leg. And um, the Opie won that one by going, no newspaper. <laughs> I went sans He went, no newspaper, newspaper and I couldn't match it because my leg was fucking just chop meat and bleeding. Uh, I got scars from that still. Yeah. Uh, that's easy stuff, though, Sam. That's that's Sorry. that's rookie stuff. Sorry. We were yeah. like uh, backyard wrestlers. Yeah. Cutting ourselves and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Are we banned cool. in Newark? I think we are banned in New York for our celebrity softball games. That one we should bring back. Yeah, we could do that. That we, we should bring back if we could still run around the oh, fucking bases. I don't know if oh people get out of hand and yeah. Oh, yeah shut up. Yeah, we did uh, Jimmy James in New Hampshire. Jimmy James. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> gang, hey, gang, gang. By the way, we just got a uh, a message from Club Soda Kenny. Within yeah. 30 minutes, you're going to have a surprise celebrity guest here, but he will be in a Halloween costume. Oh. The celebrity has offered a cash prize for whoever can guess who he is. Wow. <laughs> Very exciting. So this is a uh, a contest for the listeners, then? Yeah, or like, whoever. Like, I mean, if you want the cash prize, I guess you could. I have no I'm idea what right. this is about. Yeah. Remember the days we knew what we were doing on our own show? Uh, Jimmy James, <laughs> I, what's going on? That's when we used I'm to actually plan our own show. Sorry. Um, <laughs> hey, didn't you, didn't you boys spend a week trying to get a pregnant woman that give birth on the air? All oh, right. Yeah, she wasn't fucking cooperative. Yeah, we made her run up and down the stairs. Uh, I think, think there would be some legal issues with that about now. Yeah, you think we'd be able to do that? <laughs> she would be, she'd come in every afternoon with her husband. Uh, that kid's got to be 10 years old now if you want to really get depressed. Uh, no joke. Cause, Probably retarded. Because I think this was around 99. And, uh, and she would get completely naked, and every day we'd do different stuff to try to get her to, you know, drop the kid live on our show. She was over yeah. nine months pregnant, too, so this was yeah. not, this was a real possibility. And we did There's everything jumping from... Jumping jacks involved. Yeah, thank you. I was yeah. going to say it. Jumping jacks, walking up and down the stairs, uh, and she even had sex with her husband. Yes. Didn't work. None of that stuff What worked. about, uh, wow, I wonder what happened. We ought to look and try to find out what happened to people like Skid Markey. Who is, you know, some of the youngsters oh, that were involved with the show who are now probably fucking in college. O.P. Anthony. Hi, I'm Skid Markey. I'm Skid Markey. Remember me? What did Skid Markey do? He had, I forgot his gag. He had goofy songs. Oh, he did goofy songs? He was Steve was he Lynch? Stephen Lynch? He was Stephen Lynch before Stephen Lynch. He was the young <laughs> no. Stephen Lynch. Skid Markey. Skid Markey. And then there was the other kid, the uh, kid that wanted to go to the hockey game with you. He's probably 30 <laughs> now. Let me think, because he was about four. How old was he at the time? Well, his age was part of his name. I know. I forgot how but we, old. But it never went up. It was 12-year-old. Um, oh, I think it was 12-year-old. And then there's. So he's got to be. Gary, right. He's got to be 25 now. 24. Jesus. Somewhere around there, I Jesus. would guess. Oh, my God. How horrible. So going down memory lane because the we for the we thing. The, yeah. the uh, jury gave the family of the woman that died from that contest $16.6 $6 million. Yeah. And that basically shut down, shuts down radio officially now. Maybe it, sh- it shuts it down. Shuts it down. You know what? I think when we're ready, when we've determined that our tenure in radio 
is up, Opie. Mm -hmm. We have to go out fucking Hiroshima style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hiroshima. Oh, yeah. Like, bring, bring, or come up with something brand new that out trumps every single thing we just talked about. Oh, yeah. If you could also keep in mind, there are younger people associated with the show who would need gainful employment after. Fuck everyone okay. has been our don't, motto. Don't make the mistake that the guys uh, that came before you made. <laughs> yes. They thought they were that we were just going to take care of them for the rest of their careers. What? Make no. your own career. That's oh. it. Make your own career, my, my friend. Alienate yourself from us when we do something like that. <laughs> yeah. Move on and, and get a career. We in, hired in guys that assumed that we would just take care of them for the rest of their fucking lives and careers. Use big, it as big an mistake on their part. resume stuffer. Be like, I did work for them. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> but I did have a lot of experience in the business. You do it that way. Those guys, assholes. You know, I, I'm fine with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll write you a non-reference. <laughs> Yes. That you never acknowledged anything we did and never uh, liked it. And every phone is ringing with more and more stuff we used to do. I yeah. mean, some of the stuff we probably should bring back, but most offensive song contest, that was that, God. That was one and done. And, That'll never happen and again. And let, let me explain something. That is something that we should absolutely be able to do on satellite radio because of the uh, lack of, of uh, FCC restrictions on satellite radio. We should be able to do the most offensive song. It won't hurt anybody, you know. It, right. It'll offend people because it's called the most offensive song contest, but it's not like someone could be physically hurt or injured and things like that. So we should be I, able to do that. And that contest never ended. We're still trying to figure out who won that contest. They debate that. Yeah, a lot of the people listeners debate, debate that. that. I think I know which one won. <laughs> Who could take a When's Halloween? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Fuck. Because this one we can still do. Carl in Boston. Oh, oh, well, yeah, Skip Boo Sam. is in the in the title of an old bit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Carl, for reminding me. Boob o' lanterns. We could do that oh, one still. That was with um, any girls, girls uh, with implants. Sam, this is what I want you to do. We got a lot of people that work for Sirius XM. I want you to walk around right now okay. and ask which girls have breast implants. And I want the girls with breast implants to come in here so we can uh, put a flashlight to their breast implants so the whole thing lights up like a like a fucking uh, jack o' lantern. Okay. Could you do that immediately? Yes. Just walk yeah. around and ask which girls yeah. that work for yeah, Sirius work. XM. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then tell HR we said hi. Okay. Oh, my God. And tell them we don't even know their names, and we like it that way. I'm horny for because I've had this little twat. Okay. Wasn't that a great one? I remember it. That was one of the most offensive songs. That was a good one. <laughs> and it went on like it got really bad. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, Jesus. Uh, let's say hi to Kevin in Connecticut. Kevin. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, buddy. I remember you guys had uh, a couple fuck on the new rugs at NEW to christen it in front of uh, Greg Brady. <laughs> <laughs> on regular radio. Yeah. 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 We were so angry with the company at that... Uh, yeah, they finally gave us new rugs in the studio, and we're like, fuck you and your stupid new rugs. Because the old one was all fucked up. Like, yeah. from all the contests we did do, like the 55-gallon drum thing, like, the carpet was a mess oh, yeah. and stunk, so they got us a new carpet. And poor Pete, the engineer, was in Pete? charge of all that, and then we we just fucking had a, a couple have sex in the, in, the, in the corner to christen the new rugs. <laughs> Pete Johnson. Remember that? It just smelled like ass in there, too. He's fucking this, he's fucking this chick. Not Greg Pete Brady Johnson. Is, he was no, yeah. No, Pete Johnson. Uh, yeah, the couple is fucking on the on the carpet, and Greg Brady's just looking over there, like, "What the fuck mm -hmm. am I doing?" And then the whole studio just smelled like ass <laughs> and bad sex. <laughs> yeah, the girl I think had a dirty ass. Yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was, it wasn't. You guys fun didn't too. even acknowledge it. It was great. Yeah, yeah. We just uh, let him. We fuck. were decensored at that point. We were. Uh, uh, yeah, completely desensitized. How many? How many uh, shows? That will never be aired again. I count three. Oh, uh, mm. which three? I don't care. Third one. Uh, you're killing the mayor up in Boston. Yep. Mm. Uh, the Wolfpack Young Girl Show. Mm -hmm. And uh, Homeless Charlie. 
Uh, there's probably a couple more in there. <laughs> yeah. If I really thought about it. The the uh, mayor thing, we could play that we, stuff. We've still. replayed that one. I think yeah. we, we went step by step through what we were thinking yeah, we and how, that, how it went uh, one one. That April was lame. First. We should have never got fired for that. No, that was, it was not That bit wasn't even believable. I don't know why Boston believed it. That was a joke. Because I think the media, you know, they, they took it and ran with it. So yeah. Not knowing what it was really all about. Barely played any of the audio. So, you know, yep. people had to use their imaginations yeah. and went, oh, my God. But if you listen to the actual show show it was so it was kind of hacky to be honest with you it was almost jacktoberish almost oh, almost yeah. First. huh yeah that one first I play it. yeah <laughs> all right that one will never get what? played oh yes. yeah we just we just found another one kevin <laughs> that was <laughs> one that will never get played won't even get mentioned we can't yeah. even say it that's how bad I'm this one sure is sure Every piece of audio from that is completely deleted from the system. Really? Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's I don't even, anywhere in here. We don't have a copy of it anymore. Wow. Yeah, but that should be allowed. Uh, we could I, say it featured Francine. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It featured Francine. If you have that show, that's that's a that's rare. a collector's <laughs> item. That'll be in the box set. That, <laughs> yeah, that's the post-firing box set. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, was that a bad one? <laughs> that's the Hiroshima re. That, <laughs> yes. That's you have to reenact when you're ready Ooh, to go. Was that bad? That was a close one. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> no, we could do that bit. We could do that bit. We could do that. Yeah, bit. That's all right, a good one. They're they're ringing off the hook, but yeah, that's well. how we handled the wee for the wee thing. Just showing you what has changed. Yeah, and now that this uh, this case is officially over, and, sixteen and, and a half, and a radio company had to pay sixteen point six. <laughs> You think they're going to let anyone do anything? No, the problem is they won't let you even get close to the line. Yeah, that's, that's where the real issue is. You know, I I almost understand like they they can't take chances like uh, the we for we, but mm -hmm. they'll take they'll take it. Uh, this is the problem with lawyers and radio. They'll take it way too far and go, no, we we will not allow anything close yeah. to edgy. No one crazy. wants to, They don't want to defend anything that you do. No. Nope. Meanwhile, what you're doing, all those things we mentioned, all those bits we mentioned were the reason we wound up being a very big radio show. Mm -hmm. It was those bits. And then in between those bits, we would do our show and people liked it. But those were what we called the attention getters. <laughs> those are the ones that people would talk to their friends about and go, uh, what? Oh, yeah, it's a show called Opie and Anthony. And then new people would tune in. So without those attention getters, you know, you just sit and fucking... You know, I still, I still like the show we do. It's just very different. Oh, now. I do too. It's I very would, different. I would like every so often, though, to be able to have to shake it up. Yeah, a, a chick come in here and maybe uh, do something a little outrageous. Yeah, we'll start thinking down that road a little bit. Yeah. How are you and Scott Farrell? You make up yet? People want to know. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Shut the fuck up. How about that? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So you guys haven't made up? <clears throat> no. Why would I? Another guy that has to pretend to hate us. I, I don't really understand, Sam. That's what it is. This Tim Sabian walks around. He, he makes believe he doesn't even know who we are. Like, really? You know what we did together in this business? Really? My God. We made You're fun of your slacks. We all laughed. <laughs> we had breakfast together.